has to be white lie, but we have a serious lies. We are allowed to lie three times for a lawful reason. For war, friendship, and family. That's the three areas where God allowed you to lie. See, he's talking about his God now. Remember, everybody have attention. So Muslims can lie in three cases. War, family, and the friends. And I want to ask every one of you, what is left not to lie about if you lie in war you know I understand in war okay you want to save yourself no problem you, you will get killed you know uh, maybe me myself I might do so you know God knows we are all sinners and we are weak but what is forcing you to lie to your friends why you are lying to your family come on like even your family you want to lie to who's left so you lie inside your house, you lie outside of the house, not in wartime only, even in all kind of relationship, because when you lie to your family and you lie to friends, what is left? Honestly, guys, what is left? Listen again. And it has to be white lie, but we have a serious lies. We are allowed to lie three times. You see, this is not a white lie. This is a serious lie now. Listen. For a lawful reason, for war, Friendship and family. That's the three areas where God allowed you to lie. <laughs> Did you notice he said God? Did you notice that? God allowed you to lie. Who's talking about who? He's talking about his God. Our God never allowed us to lie. Jesus said it, said it clearly. Yes, yes, or no, no. Even a swearing is not allowed. Because when you swear, uh, simply, you know, why did Jesus he said, you know, swear not? Do you know why? Because when you swear, supposedly you are trying to prove to yourself as an honest. When you are supposed to be an honest anyway. So by swearing, he will save himself. Like, you know what, let, let me swear so I, they will let me go. So the God of Islam simply making the normal life is a life of lies. The unnormal for a Muslim to be honest. That's what we understand now, as you see. You can lie in three cases. War, family, friends, which nothing left really, not to lie about. If you lie to everybody around you, even friends and family, what is left? So the normal life in Islam is the life of liars. It's not a sin in Islam. So this is what Islam really try to approach. You know, we, we can play and about, about, about fasting and you will see the hypocrites. We can, we can, we can hear to the, the gospel. But let us see this guy first talking about lying in Islam and so we can understand Muslims when they talk to us so from now and later don't ever trust a Muslim talking to you even if he swear he's allowed to lie you just heard him he's allowed allowed to lie to three cases in war friends and family so even if you are from his family he can lie to you even if you are from his friend he can lie to you and after all if you are a Christian it's mean he is in war with you because Islam consider everyone is not a Muslim he is in war in Islam because you wage war against Islam when you refuse to convert to Islam let us hear more how Sunnah liar is the Shia have a law see he agree now the, the Shia are the Shia are you know the Sunnah are, are uh, liars and now he want to talk about the Shia law but he agreed that the Sunnah and he's a Sunni huh they are liars now let us hear about the Shia. To legalize law. To legalize uh -huh. lie. Isn't it you? You just say that God allowed us to lie in three cases. So this is legalized for law, you ignorant. You just say to us, your God allowed you to lie in three cases. In war, friendship, and family. This is your law. So why you are talking about the Shia, the legalized law? You just, you yourself, you have a law too. And th th this, this man, he don't know that the law of the Shia is the same as the law or the sources of the law. Like from where the Shia, they get the, the order to lie. It is from Al-Quran. The Quran allowed you to lie. So, you know, Surah 3, verse 28, Taqiyah, and he will talk about it. This law called Tuqiyah. Tuqiyah, huh? see? It's a law. Built hundreds of thousands of books. Najaf, Karbala, uh, uh, Qum. Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, in every house that they have, they have... What about in your book? You, you know, you, you, some people, you know, I call them potato. I'm not trying to insult, but they have no shape. Supposedly now he is attacking the Shia, they are liars, but already he agreed he is a liar. And now let us go and see in his Quran. The law, the Tuqya, it is in his Quran, not in the book of the Shia alone. 
it is in his book too. He is a Muslim Sunni. Let us see if it exists in his book or it exists in the book of the Shia alone. Now, I hope uh, Ubaid, he will watch this movie because, you know, uh, this uh, video, uh, you know, this guy, honestly, I don't hate him. I don't hate uh, uh, Muslims. I feel sorry for them. But I want them to take the rust out of their brain. This is Surah 3, verse 28, uh, Mr. Ubaid. It's not the Shia who have that alone. It's your book. This is the Quran. The word Tuqiyya, it is in here. Do you see it? Do you see it? This is the word Tuqiyya, the one you are talking about. Illa an tattaqu minhum tuqat. It's written there twice. Tattaqu minhum tuqat. So it's not the Shia law alone, it's your law. And now in here you will see that the believers are not allowed to take a Christian or Jewish as a friend. This is what the, Shia, the, the verse is talking about. is a verse of hate, teaching hate against Christian and Jewish. Because we are kuffar after all. You can go and read Surah 5 verse 51. You will see it says exactly the people of the book. Or Surah number 60 verse number 1 saying exactly the same. Take not Christian or Jew or the disbeliever as a friend. Now in this verse and here, Muhammad is allowed him to do taqiyya. What taqiyya? It's mean you, you can, you as a Muslim, you can show and you know, pretend to be a friend for them. You see it? But in your heart you hate them. In your heart, what do you have in your heart is not what do you have in your tongue. So the God of Islam is allowing Muslims to say things in their tongue, but it's not what they have in their heart. And as Ubaid he said, you can lie in three cases. You can lie in war, which a guy's war for Islam, you know, if they speak to a Christian, this is war. Not, not necessarily shoot when you are shooting guns. Because every Christian who refuses Islam and Muslims have no power over him to convert him, he is waging war against Allah. Secondly, Ubaid he said, those or lying to your friends. So, if you are a friend to a Muslim, not a Christian, he cannot take a, a Muslim. He, can, he will not take a Christian as a friend, as you see, because he's an enemy always. Because saying, take not the believers, take take as partners or friends. We can go to Surah five, verse fifty-one, and see that too. You see it? You believe, who believe, take not Christian and Jewish as a friends or protectors. So Muslims, according to the other verse, Surah 3, verse, chapter 3, verse number 28, they can act as if they are your friends. They can say to you in their tongue, we are your friends and we love you, but the fact they hate you. This is what the Quran is saying. They are, you know, allowed in them to say that. And at the same time, Muhammad, he said, the Muslim, he can lie in, in, lie in three cases. This is what the Ubaid, he was saying too. Now, as long Islam teach uh, lies and the Muslims agree, and this is their God teaching lies and allowing Muslims to lies. What Jesus Christ he said us, to us about the one who teach lies? Who is the father of lies? God or Satan? Let us hear the word of the Lord Jesus Christ, and then we will understand clearly who is the father of lies and who is the one who teach people to lie? Listen carefully, please. Why do ye not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is... Did you hear it? Who is the one who speak the lies? It is Satan. Who is the father of the lies? You can lie to your wife and to your friends and to the enemies which are the other Christians and the Jew. So simply you can lie about anything in Islam. It is not a sin. This is why I did play for you a verse from the Bible where it says that Satan he is the father of sin. He speak the father of lie. He speak for lies and because he himself he have nothing but lies and he is the, 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 the uh, 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 from the beginning he was a murderer. He promote murders and that's what the God of Islam do. Promote sin, promote lies, promote murders and he have nothing good to, to give. And ask yourself before I finish this video. What kind of God does God he order us to lie to each other? To hate each other? Like in verse number 5 verse 14 
the God of Islam, he's saying, I will strengthen them, the Christians and the Christians, he's talking about the Christians, I will strengthen them with hate and enmity between each other. This is a God, he have a plan for you Christians. And he has a plan to make you hate each other. So you will never be loving to each other. This is the plan of Satan. Ask yourself, who is the one who want people, you know, cause people to hate each other? Simple question. You will answer right away Satan. And this is the God of Islam, Surah 5 verse 14 saying, I will cause the Christians to hate each other. He have a plan for the Christians. And he is teaching Muslims to lie to each other. So what is left? It's very clear that the God of Islam is Satan. And he is the father of lies. Jesus is Lord. Islam is false. I mean.